welcome viewers to another episode in a series of episodes that are focused on extensive revision of the August 2023 Mathematics Paper 1. So if you haven't seen other episodes, please go to our YouTube channel and check for playlists that contains these extensive revision of each and every question from this paper. So questions are grouped in according to the paper and the topics. This it's important for you, especially if you are struggling with a specific topic. You go to a specific topic, you find a series of questions from different papers as far as 2017. Question 15. Given that f of x equals 3 minus 5 divided by 2 and g of x is equal to x plus 2, find a the inverse or f to the power negative 1 over x. Again, this question always comes. What is important is for you to understand the principle. So let us go through the steps by step. If you understand the principle, you don't need to memorize the answer. Understanding the principle will be able to answer any question. There is always a question on this topic. So we have M. So the first thing that you need to do is, whenever there is f of x, you put y. So let us say y is equal to now 3x minus 5 over 2. That's step 1. You substitute whatever there is f of x with you y. Then the next step is to make x the subject of the formula. So we make x the subject of the formula. So what we do is this is over 1. Then we cross multiply. So now it becomes 2 times y which is 2y equals 1 times y this whole thing which is 3x minus 5. Then the next step now is we make x a subject of a formula. So what this tells me is negative 5 closes the equal sign so it comes this side then it becomes a positive so we have 2y plus 5 is equal to 3x. We divide by 3 we divide by 3. So you notice that this one and this one cancels. So we end up with x, so I'm going to swap them now. x, start with x, is equal to 2y plus 5 equals, I mean divide by 3. So once you do that now, you need now to write now as f to the power negative 1, which is an inverse of x equals so now whatever there is x, I'm going to replace with it, this function. Then on the right hand side, this part, whatever there is y, I'm going to now replace with it, x. So we have 2x. So whatever there is y, I put x, then plus 5 divided by 3. So I'm just changing on only where there is y after I make x of the subject the subject of the formula. So once you do this then you would have found question A. Then for finding question A you get the one mark. So we found this to be f of x equals 2x plus 5 over 3. That's the answer that we found. Then B, we need to find f of inverse, f of x inverse, or f to the power negative 1 or 5. So now in this function, wherever there is x, we, we replace within a 5. Then we find in the value. So, what we have now is f, this is b. So now, whenever there is x, in this case, this is where there is x, we put in a 5. That's the principle, so it's 2 times 5, then plus 5 over 3. Then 2 times 5 is a 10, plus 5 over 3, which is 15 over 3 which is equal to 15 divided by 3 is a 5. So the answer there is a 5. 
so this is the principle that you need to follow if any question if you do this you come out smiling in an exam without worrying about anything question C f of g of x so what this tells me is in f of x whatever there is in x here i'm going to replace it with g of x like that this is what it means so we get this f of x function and whatever there is x here whatever there is x we replace it with that that's the principle so let us go to the we know f of x so f of x is equal to 3x minus 5 over 2 then in this f of x to find f of g of x which is the same as f of g x what this tells me is in f of x whatever this x i'm going to replace g of x and remember g of x is equal to x plus 2 so let me use a different color so here i'm going to put in x plus 2 then whatever remains remains the same then we divide by 2 then the next thing is just simplifying so it will be 3 times x, it will be 3x. Then next, so after I multiply this one, I'm going to multiply with this one. 3 times 2, so it will be plus 6. Then minus 5 over 2. So I'm going to have now 3x plus 1 over 2. Which is now f of g of x is equal to 3x plus 1 over 2 so if you follow these principles that i have explained to you you get the full max this is how simple it is so what is key is understand the steps don't memorize the answer understand the steps if you understand the steps you'll be able to answer any question with easy